Hi, I'm Dr. Matthew M. John, uh, DPM. I'm in private practice here in Marietta, Georgia. I'm board certified by the American College of Foot and Ankle Surgeons. Uh, I'm also medical director of the Atlanta Center for Foot and Ankle Surgery here in Atlanta. Motion is our first most uh, important thing to really look at post-surgery, whether it be a bunion, um, a hammer toe, or um, anything specific. You know, we want to get these patients back to you know functioning as quickly as possible. Typically range of motion you know starts pretty much after uh, skin incision is healed. So once the bandages are off and once I uh, have the patient uh, out of uh, any type of post-operative shoe or boot then range of motion begins. After surgery for post-operative um, you know recovery I'll use a combination of physical therapy and also uh, utilize uh, dynamic range of motion splinting such as a dyna splint especially after my bunions and hammer toes, uh, just to increase range of motion postoperatively. You know, when I first even learned about dyna splint, I at first was resistant because I thought, well, you know, eventually my patients will get range of motion. But after utilizing the combination of dyna splint along with physical therapy, I find that patients actually get in their range of motion a lot quicker, as opposed to waiting eventually that the range of motion will come, you know, months and months and, you know, it's just not uh, feasible for most patients nowadays to wait a year to have their range of motion come back. I utilize the ankle dynasplint to increase range of motion to a lot of my patients who have tight Achilles, tight calf muscles, plantar fasciitis. Um, a lot of these sports athletes will actually, you know, be so strong and, and you know, toned that they overpower, you know, uh, the front of their foot, you know, because of a tight Achilles. And, Stretching is a, the biggest challenge for a lot of my athletes because, you know, they want to get out there and start playing. I mean, the biggest question I get, when can I start running, Doc? Um, I mean, especially my avid runners. I mean, they, to tell them that they can't exercise for more than two weeks is like, you, you might as well tell them that they got to die. I mean, they just, you know, oh, what are they going to do? You know, they want to get back to activity, but they still want their problem fixed. I joke with my patients, this is a lazy man's way of stretching. Um, because they, they can put the splint on, know that they're being compliant, know uh, the difference between their active stretches and then the long, prolonged stretch. Um, and then, you know, my, my younger folks you know, who are in junior high and, and that age group, you know, they're not as easy to just tell, hey, here, go do your stretches, but they know that they can put their splint on and then they can, you know, get their stretches in while they're doing their homework, yeah. With the cost of medicine being high and a lot of patients having $50 copays and $60 copays, um, the biggest question is, you know, do I have to pay a copay every time I go to physical therapy? And unfortunately, yes. So it is a concern to where patients, if they have to go to therapy two or three times a week, you know, the cost can add up. As opposed to, say, utilizing a splint that has a fixed cost, you know, say per month, that is a lot easier for a lot of patients and much more cost effective for some patients. We actually train a lot of the resident doctors um, in, a, in our surgery center and the hospital. Um, and I tell them, you know, utilize a dyna splint to help with your patients postoperatively. You know, it's one thing to, you know, see it done in surgery and think, oh, this is a great surgery. But you really need to pay attention to the postoperative course because you could do the most unique and awesome surgery and it completely fail if the postoperative course is not done properly. And the, the, the range of motion device that I always recommend for my you know, young practitioners is a dynasplint.